All right, guys, so we are going to do what we always do. We're going to read a short little story and then answer some questions. The answers will be put in on Teams. So let's read this bad boy three times and get our answers. All right, so this one is called In the Storm. Andrew was playing at the park when he heard thunder. The wind was blowing hard and black clouds were covering the sky. So Andrew knew that a storm was coming. He had to walk for half a mile to get home. He started to run as fast as he could, but in a few minutes it started raining cats and dogs. I need to find some shelter before I get soaked to my skin, he told himself. Oh man, Andrew's in for a treat here. All right, so we need to figure out when he heard thunder, uh, how far he had to walk to get home, and then why he needed to find some shelter. All right, these are all good questions. So let's Go through and read it again and highlight some information. All right, in, in the storm. Andrew was playing at the park when he heard thunder. Okay, so we know that he was playing at the park. Oh boy, let's try that again. Um, that's when he heard it. The wind was blowing hard and black clouds were covering the sky. So Andrew knew a storm was coming. He had to walk for half a mile to get home. Okay, so he had to walk for half a mile to get home. Gosh, I'm having a hard time highlighting today, guys. He started to run as fast as he could, but in a few minutes, it started raining cats and dogs. I need to find shelter before I get soaked to my skin. All right, so he didn't want to get wet, right? So that's probably why he was running for shelter. Okay. So that's time number two. Let's read it one more time and see if there's anything else that we missed. So Andrew was playing at the park when he heard thunder. The wind was blowing hard and black clouds were covering the sky. So Andrew knew that a storm was coming. He had to walk for a half a mile to get home. He started to, he started to run as fast as he could, but in a few minutes it started raining cats and dogs. So if it's raining cats and dogs, guys, um, that's a weird thing to say. It doesn't literally mean that cats and dogs are coming out of the sky. It just means that it's raining really hard. Just for a little background. Um, I need to find some shelter before I get soaked to my skin, he told himself. All right, guys. So these questions are going to be over in the Teams app. So go ahead and go over there and we will answer these questions.